Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my guide video. Now, this is something I kind of wanted to um, update on, uh, like kind of an old video that I wanted to make an updated version on, but I also wanted to add something, some new knowledge, some new things I found, which I think will still be very, very helpful, even if you are a veteran player in this game. Um, just some little tips and tricks that might speed up your time even more. And uh, for new players, I, I'm going to re-explain everything, you know, so, you know, just just bear with me, the people who, like, already know the basics to this, but I will be sharing some um, advanced strategies to help you do things a little bit faster afterwards. So, what I'm going to teach you guys is how to infinitely farm up astrogens, and I'm going to do it in the most, like, the fastest way, the most efficient way possible. Um, if you guys don't know, the the astrogems, you know, is the premium currency of Monster Super League if you're like super, super new. Um, the, the cool thing about Monster Super League is the astrogem is actually infinitely farmable. If you are able to do certain things in the game, you can infinitely farm up astrogems as much as you want. And um, the math is basically very, very simple. The method is also very, very simple. Um, the, the method basically is to convert your gold into astrogems. Your astrogems you use to refill for energy and you use the energy to farm golems. And then you sell the, sell the shitty gems and golems, which gives you more gold. And you reconvert that gold back into astrogems and you will basically uh, make a profit if the, if from stamina to um to gold is efficient so it depends on what you're farming when you're using your when you're actually using your energy or stamina um to to convert that stamina into gold so if you're farming golems the efficiency is very very high you will be able to like if you're able to farm golems b7 and up um you will be able to basically make more gold than you originally invested in in astrogens and if you keep this loop going you will basically be able to infinitely farm astrogens um, from b7 to b9 i've done a math video a long long time ago you basically make about a, a 10 percent profit uh, which is you know kind of kind of good um, every time you convert you know 100 astrogens you make about a 10 percent profit every single time so um, the method is also very very simple. What you do is you evolve some some random level one monsters because the evolution cost of level one monsters is much much cheaper than the evolution cost of three stars and above monsters. So as you can see, feeding um, a three star monster is basically double. So feeding an uh, an one star monster is much much cheaper, and in total it will cost you three hundred and thirty thousand gold to convert into one hundred astrogems. Um, if you want to just basically make a rough estimate it's about 1 million gold per 300 astrogens and you will actually be spending a little bit more on the chips and the the runs for stamina um, but there's also a repeatable quest for capturing astromons like the the same astromons as well um and you know so if you kind of want to do the math it's about it's about a million gold per 300 astrogens i think that's that's pretty fair so I'm, I'm actually going to go and um, I already caught a few slimes over here. I just basically need to do two more runs and I need to catch at least uh, four more slimes, I think, I believe, in order to to um, evolve a slime into Evil 3 because I need 16 copies of a monster to evolve it into Evil 3. So while I'm sliming, I'm going to show you guys uh, the, the fastest way of like of some like animation canceling tricks that you can you can use to to make your slime runs faster so so uh you can you can basically just watch this i'm gonna i'm gonna catch the slime and over here i'm going to pause and pause and if you pa pause and pause the animation time of the of the of um whatever it depends on like if you're doing battles it also makes it faster as well um if you pause and pause and the zoom in animation actually speeds things up it's kind of a i i don't know it's it's kind of the uh, I'm not sure if it's a bug in the game or something like that, but it basically makes the um, makes the animation much much faster. And I'll I'll do this again. Um, I'll basically animation cancel. This is this is kind of a uh, kind of straightforward. But uh, the the next trick that uh, most people don't know is you can actually catch the slime. You can you can leave the stage, give up right here, and um, it can actually still catch the slime afterwards. So. This this saves you another like um, another another like five seconds or so um, whenever you're doing doing these runs and if you're doing a lot of runs like a lot of repeated runs this this can actually save you quite a lot of time so that was uh that was just me uh, capturing it I'm gonna do another another really really fast uh, capture but this time this time I'm going to I'm going to just like you know go through it as fast as fast as I can 
Oh shit, oh shit. I, I, oh god, I misclicked. Oh shit. Uh, I was supposed to pause and pause click. And then you can just give up on the third one, basically. And then it's still able to catch it. So this can save you quite a lot of time. Um, if you if you do the animation cancel for the first two runs, and then you basically um, pause and just leave the level, you can actually go through go through the last uh, like go th it will go through the capturing animation while the defeat thing is popping up, and then um, you know the text for capturing the slime will actually appear after you're in the screen where it shows the monsters you capture. Basically, it saves you like saves you like five seconds of time every single time that you're doing it and the the animation cancelling um, saves you about you know like two seconds every single time you do it so in in two runs um, it basically saves you like almost 10 seconds if you're if you're doing that every single run um, and there's also there's also some other ways uh, but I, I usually don't like to use uh, like I'm not used to it but I think if I use shortcuts it'll also be be much much easier um i i, I kind of just want to briefly talk about this i in another video or in a previous reddit post um someone actually commented in one of my comments after watching my, one of my dragons b10 streams they asked the developers if um it's it's legal it's like if it's legal to use um use like not not like automatic macros but like macros within um within nox so basically, macros where you like um, hit Q on your keyboard and it and it clicks a certain place. Um, you can actually bind your macros to to like basically uh, you know like the evolution button and then like it can click the first three and then and then the awaken and then the evolve button. You can bind your macros onto those keys and it's actually. 100% um, legal to do that. I won't actually show it because everybody uses a different emulator. And you might not be playing this game on an emulator, so that tip might not really be useful to you. But it's also a little bit um, just that if you're if you master it, it can actually make your sliming like extremely fast because it, you can literally go through this this process of awakening um, and and evolving basically in you know like. You can you can go back go back collect the quest um, because every single time you do this you have to um, you you complete an evil two like you I, I raise the monster to evil two you have to go out you have to collect the quest click challenges and then you have to click get reward and then you have to go back and then you know repeat that process over and over again hit these three click awaken click awaken again you know after it's awakened you click randomly anywhere you have to click evolve. And then you have to click evolve again and then you have to click skip and then you have to tap and then you have to close this and then you have to go out go to quest challenges get reward and you can see that basically you're clicking all the same thing so if you put um shortcut bindings to this it will actually make it really really fast although i i would like to to do it but i, I just i don't know it doesn't feel comfortable for me like i just feel like um it feels more comfortable just clicking with my mouse, to be honest. Which is why you see me bind my keys in a lot of my Dragon Speed 10 runs, but I, I don't necessarily use any of my, uh, my key bindings either. So yeah, um, you know, this costs 30, this costs 30. Um, so in total, I've already spent 90,000. Um, this will cost me 12,000, I think, to evolve four slimes. Wait, six times four. Oh no, it cost me 20, 24, uh, 240k, I mean. It cost me 240k to evolve these two, all four of these slimes to evil, evil 3. And what, um, this is another trick that you, you, you guys might not know about, uh, which is when you're, when you're evolving the last monster over here, like when you're evolving the fourth one, you can actually just evolve it into evil 2. Um... After you evolve it into Evil 2, you don't have to actually go out and collect the quest. You can straight straight out evolve this monster to Evil 3. And the reason for this is because the quest for Evil 3 and the quest for Evil 2 does not overlap. If you don't go and collect the quest after you Evil 2 a monster and you Evil 2 another monster, um, you don't get the Astrogen reward for it. So you basically lose 10 Astrogens if you don't go out and get the reward. But for Evil 2 and Evil 3, um, the quests don't overlap. So after you evolve your fourth Evil 2, 
you can actually stay in here and um, just basically make your monster an evil three. This some people might might know about this 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 one as well. And then after you you know you you make this monster to evil three, um, you no longer need it, so you can basically just release it really quickly. And then you go out, and you, as you can see, the two quests are also you know not not stacked. On, well, like uh, they're not. They're, they're two different quests. They're two completely different quests. Um, another thing I also wanted to point out is the quest for evolving a normal monster and a variant monster is also different. So if you happen to have a variant slime that you're evolving, then you can actually go out and not collect the quest after you evolve another slime. So for example, if you have two monsters, let me see if I can I can randomly grab two monsters that are um, that might have evil two counterparts and might not. Actually, my inventory is too clean. Like, there's there's no way I have any uh, I have any random variant monsters sitting around. But if you if you take a look at the the, the um, repeatable quests over here, which is the the challenges, all challenges are repeatable. Everything here is uh is repeatable. Every single time you do it, you, it's you can repeat this. Uh, as you can see, if you evolve a monster to to evolution two, um, you get ten astro gems. But there, there should be another quest for evolving um, a variant as well. I don't think it's listed here. Um, but basically, the quest for evolving a... Yeah, over here. Um, evolve an Astromon to level 2 variant. So these two quests are different. Which means that if you have a slime that happens to be a variant, um, you can evolve the variant one. And then you can not come out and, and collect the quest and evolve the normal one to evil 2. And the two quests will also not be repeated. Meaning that it saves you another um, another few seconds of coming out, grabbing the quest, and going back in. Um, yeah, this is just uh, this is just another another little tip. But anyways, you saw me successfully convert 330,000 gold into 100 astro gems. And if you repeat this process over and over and over again, um, basically, if you can make if you can use you know 100 after using 100 astro gems, if you can make more than 330. Um, thousand gold then you will be able to profit after you convert so basically um, astrogen energy and gold is infinitely convertible you can convert gold into astrogens astrogens into energy and energy into gold um, if you have the if you have time to, to farm and stuff like that so anyways that is just the a little um, little tip or guide video that I want to share with you guys kind of re 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 uh, retouch on the subject i don't i don't even know what the, what the what the word is but like um come back to the subject because i think i think this is something that all new players should know how to do like all players of msl should know how to do um uh, even if you are completely new to the game you should know how to do this and that's i think that's one of the this is definitely for me one of the charms of msl because um since the premium currency is infinitely farmable um you, you're not pressured to it, you're you're not pressured to like you know s save your resources in any way. You can you can if you have the highest effect most effective team in farming, um, that also, that basically means that you will be able to farm the most astro gems and do the most summons um, as you progress more and more into the game. As your teams get faster and faster, um, you will be able to farm more and more astro gems. So that's that's I think that's for me one of the the greatest charms of MSL. You can um, it's extremely like free to play friendly because of this this whole astro gem farming thing, and it's also um, it's like you get rewarded for being uh, for, for being someone that's that invests time into the game, basically. So I, I think that's definitely one of the really, really cool things about um, Monster Super League. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully this helps you guys out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.